All right, guys, uh, Fool coming to you with another commentary. Uh, I don't know. These women just keep uh, getting worse and worse, but at least one told the truth. You know, she told the truth, and so I can really appreciate her telling the truth, you know, that, uh, you know, that's a good thing for her to do so, telling, telling it how it is, you know, telling the reality of the situation. So let's get down to it. The first one I'll do is, of course, the cock carousel, you know, and what just basically what what women are doing nowadays, you know, showing you that, uh, you know, this is how it goes. I just wanted to come on, on here and like clear up a few things that like people are like just assuming in my um, comment section. So first things first, like we are financially very well off to be um, young parents. I'm only 23. So at 23, she's a parent, but um, let's let's look at how she became a parent, though. My first baby daddy, um, Ace. Uh, now, granted, um, she's one of those white girls who think that, like, basically she gets a pass because she is uh, riding the cock carousel with um, b black dudes. Now, you know, of course, granted, there are going to be, like, there are going to be those. There are going to be, you know, these uh, white girls who think that, you know, what I mean, because they he is with, a fucking ladies man. They, they sleep with a with a um, black dude. You know, that's such a badge of honor when the reality is because she's fat, you know, white dudes didn't want her. And. You know, for better or for worse, you know how black dudes feel about women who have a little bit more, you know, than than usual. He is fine as hell, bitches. I had to fight everybody over this man. So as you see, you know, she's already portraying the role of like, you know, what I mean, like just a hoodster. When really she isn't, you know, uh, I hate to say it, but she's basically trash, you know what I mean, at the end of the day when it comes down to it. And we'll see more why that she is trash, you know what I mean? In essence, like, what happened with her is but I she started buying into what she thinks is like the hip hop culture and then uh, went from there and decided that she was going to embrace that. Now, it must be said that original hip hop culture is basically a rebellious, resistant culture. Um, it has nothing to do with cock carousels. It has nothing to do with uh, drugs, like drugs being the normal thing. It has nothing to do with that. Because when there were, when, let's just take it back to slavery. Let's just take it back to colonialism. When, uh, when colonial powers were oppressive or when slavery was oppressive, um, music and dance were a form of resistance. You know what I mean? And so it was also a form of rebellion. You know, you had the drums that would cause like, a, you know, resistance. You had spoken word that would be a form of resistance as well. You had different types of dances as well that uh, were a form of resistance. 
Uh, for example, where I come from, they have uh, a certain dance called Fu Na Na, which was a form of resistance. You know, I mean, it was a form of, uh, you know, protest in essence. But you look at this and, you know, what she thinks is hip hop culture is being with a thug and um, trying to talk as if she's built like that when really she's not built like that. And so, yeah, you know, that's that's what she thinks. But she's very, very uh, sadly mistaken. Number one, so it didn't matter. <laughs> Um, I truly believed if he wasn't murdered that we would have had all of our kids together and we would probably still be together. Now, granted, you know, he was probably doing some street stuff. I mean, you know, he was murdered. Uh, but he probably didn't want to have kids with her. He was probably just getting all types of women that, you know, he, she... She felt that, you know, by him, by her trapping him with kids, that that would uh, calm down his ways. You know what I mean? But if she had to fight other women because of his ways, that that failed. You know, she failed at doing that. Stay only because the simple fact is I'm a dumb bitch and he's in love with me. But whatever. This motherfucker here. This is my second baby daddy, too tall. Um, yeah, so with like nicknames like that, you know he's like they're probably been in the streets and stuff like that. Now, I'm pretty sure there may have been some, there could have even been some simp black guys who have, um, how should I put it? Uh, you know, offered her like different types of things. But of course, you know, he's a piece of shit. Uh, Pookie and Ray Ray, you know, as we see right here, are too tall in this case. Probably didn't offer her anything. And they still, you know, got to do what they do. I think he has a few other kids. I've tried to find family members of his or baby mamas or anything to kind of connect him. Then to his family, cannot find anything. No one's ever reached out to me. No one gives a fuck. He hasn't seen his son literally since he was like two or three, four months old. He's only seen his son like two times. Didn't come to the delivery, even though I called his phone, asked him to come. Gave me $80 when I had the baby, and that's all the money I've ever gotten from him. He's been on child support for like three years and haven't seen a dime. Well, I mean, at least he's winning in that department, you know what I mean? Because he probably didn't ask to, he probably didn't want the kid, you know? Again, this guy was probably like a, a major player in the streets. And the fact that he had more than one, uh, kid from different women shows you that he was um, already busy. You know what I mean? Like he was already busy with stuff. So if he's already busy with things, then why would he, you know, entertain her and say, okay, well, yeah, now I want to settle down. Now I want to be with you. Now, granted, he already had kids, but he's looking at it like, okay, well, she already has kids. You know what I mean? So I shouldn't be in any obligation to her, you know, because she already got kids, right? I can't really blame him for looking at it in that way, you know. Oh, he's a loser. This is my third baby daddy. Why am I? Um, love the guy. Great guy. Cheater, but a great guy. So, I mean, you see what kind of guys that she's choosing. You know what I mean? To have kids with 
she's not choosing a guy who maybe will decide that he's gonna like that he's in it for a long the long run so when she has kids with people like these guys then that just shows you what kind of like female she is you know what I mean so it, it's not even worth taking her serious you know that's the whole situation with this uh this uh I don't know what to call her McNugget I guess yeah McNugget that's the whole it's the whole situation with McNugget basically Um, good stepdaddy, takes care of his family, pisses me the fuck off, then to his family. Yeah, so, you know, the, these are, uh, these women, I mean, really what she needs to be, she, she needs to be checked into a mental hospital too, you know, like when you have, like, her talking like this, it, I mean, I would say, yeah, like, check her in to a mental hospital because uh like with that kind of thinking um and these kind of actions it just goes to show you that you know she needs help right she definitely needs help yeah and she's so prideful because people in the comment section were like you go girl you're such a good mother and things like that. Uh, because of that, um, they uh, they they are encouraged to be foolish, you know. Well, let's look at this. Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? Well, for one. Well, we do want to get married, but we're not going to get married to someone who's going to cost us our house, our resources, and our kids. That's what we're not going to do, you know, and the, the, the stakes are high now. So any red flags we see, we're taking heed of those red flags, you know, we're not, we're not, um, taking that lightly, you know? Once we see the red flags, we're going to be like, yeah, but it's a wrap. We can't have this. So that's, th this is why. And once they hurry. are married and. That's why we're not in a hurry to get married. Because the Wicked Witch of the West gives red flags every day as soon as she opens her mouth you know that's the thing all she has to do is open her mouth all she has to do is just walk past you and you see the red flags because honestly the wicked witch of the west which is a uh, it's a blessing in disguise she's unapproachable you know, but that's a blessing. A woman has, like, any sort of... You know, that's actually a blessing. That she's unapproachable. Right? So, that's the good news. Um, so, let's continue. Opportunity or an inkling to want to get divorced. Once they are married and a woman has like. Any Why do you think guys no longer want to get married? 
Well, for one, once they are married and a woman has like any sort of opportunity or an inkling to want to get divorced, she will dominate him in divorce court. She will take all his money and she will typically take care of the kids. And the thing is, is like when women divorce, they're doing it because they think they can get better and that they found something better, but also they know that the financial reward at the expense of their kids is greater to them than um, keeping the family together, you know. That's what they believe to be the case. Um, the marriages that you see on TV and stuff like that, women are so infatuated with those and they believe that those things are just really happening, that they think that that's how it should be in their marriage. Obviously, that's not all the case, but, you know, the majority. I think it's like, I forget what the percentage is, but the majority of divorces are initiated by women. Another thing is that modern women tend to want all of the benefits of being a traditional woman without actually being a traditional woman. Well, that's true, too, because of the simple fact that, you know, uh, and she's definitely still single as of right now and is probably going to die single. But, uh, you know, uh, although she's not obligated to cook or clean, you know, she's not obligated to do so. Um, she, there's one woman who said that as a wife, she's not going to... She's not going to cook or clean. And um, that's like just the bare minimum. You know what I mean? And. Uh, and. So with that being said. Uh, modern women don't know how to be traditional women. And also modern women don't really know how to be girlfriends nor have your know, cake and eat they, nor do they know how to be wives you know they weren't trained to do so they weren't trained to know how to do it and they don't care to um learn how to you know what i mean uh to to do that woman without actually being a traditional woman can't have your cake and eat it too. But they think they can have their cake and eat it too, though. That's the thing. And something that I've just noticed over the last five years or so is that modern women have, like, increasingly became more difficult to, like, just live with. And, like, who would want to live with a difficult woman, you know? So, yes, this reality is sad, but honestly, I don't blame the men. So... Not only are modern women difficult to even live with or anything like that, they're just really kind of like difficult to be around. They're like just kind of difficult to even listen to, you know, like, as I said in one of the videos, uh, a Western woman doesn't know the value of silence. Like, you just want to say all the time, like, just shut up, you know? Like, I, I mean, I, I don't want to use the language, but, you know, you sometimes want to say, have you ever thought about taking a chef the F up pill? You know, I don't get it. And so, you know, they wonder why they're in the situation they are in right now is because they put themselves in the situation they are in right now. They don't know how to shut up. They don't know how to listen. They don't want to learn. You know, the thing is, I'm always trying to learn. 
I am always trying to learn. I'm always thirsty for the knowledge that I can apply to my life. You know, um, even and I'm going to end it on this, you know, I because I just came to this realization today, you know. And I'm not saying this to get people to convince people of my beliefs. I'm not saying it for that reason. But. You know, the Lord said that he was going to create. A vice German on the earth. OK. What we call a Khalifa on the earth. Meaning like a leader on the earth. Now, God didn't say that he was going to create two leaders on the earth, meaning that he didn't say that he was going to create a male and female leader on the earth. He said he was going to create a leader on the earth, and that was the first man, Adam. So if he said he was going to create Adam as a leader on the earth, then wouldn't that entail that maybe in order to have divine harmony, that the woman should know her place? Now, another thing is that the words in which he used for that, he didn't use the feminine word for it. He used the masculine one. So if he used the masculine one, then Don't you think he was talking about a man? The reality is, is that because women try to be men for the most part, they're basically just, um, constantly shooting themselves in the foot. You know what I mean? And, you know, you have, of course, these women who are mad at the, at the manuscript and things like that. But, again, you have to understand something. When you're not the cause of something and you're the effects of something, you can't be mad at what you you caused since they are the ones who caused it with feminism, sexual liber liberation, body positivity, and the like thereof. But anyhow, man, that's all I got for now. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments. Fula signing out. Inshallah.